been reported that the kids involved in this Darwin scandal have all been charged to court. Now, according to Telegraph and also according to Nigerian Bulletin, all five of the students have been taken to police custody. It was reported yesterday that they were all in the police custody along with three housemasters. However, in the article, it was said that the police in charge said that they couldn't keep the children in their custody for long due to human rights issue. And so they charged all of them to court because, you know, it's a murder case. Although investigation is still ongoing because they need to question some other students who would play witnesses in the court. You know, those students who were there who saw Sylvester being beaten. Those ones also need to be questioned and they need to be sorted out so that when it goes to court, they will come out to testify. But what is not being said is what the children are saying in the custody. The police have questioned all of them and they've given their statement. It's unclear if they have admitted to beating up the boy, but you know, I'm going to guess maybe a few of them will admit to it while the others would not. The article also mentioned that the lawyers of these children begged the, the magistrates to give them like 28 days or 30 days for the investigation to be concluded as well as waiting for the autopsy result of Sylvester. The article also said that the children, that is the students, all five of them began to cry when the police said they will be charged to court. This is good news and I'm happy it's happening very fast. Sylvester's father has lawyered up. He has one of the best lawyers out there. I don't know the lawyers for the other children but I'm sure they all have their lawyers. My only concern is why wasn't the school itself charged? Why weren't they taken to court? I'm talking about the owners of the school, the authorities, the people running the school. I feel like they should have been charged to court too. It's almost as if the school has thrown them out of their case. Like, you know what? I can't support you people again. You should go and face it on your own. So right now, it's just the students and the housemasters that are facing these charges. But let me know what you think. Do you think the school authorities and the school owners should also face charges?